Okay, hey, I want to have a go at making this picture look like this from starting out looking like this with a lot of a, uh, I think it's reflection from how it's been scanned. It's got a texture and it's picking up the light. So let's uh, close that and open the image again. Um, this one. Okay. Let's get rid of this from the top as well because we don't need this. I had notification. So I'm going to unlock my background and duplicate it by dragging it down to the plus button. Um, the next step is to blur this image. Uh, before I blur it, I want to turn it into a smart object so I've got some adju adjustment. I can still do it later. So I'm right clicking on the layer, convert to smart object. We get a smart object icon. And then I'm going to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Um, and I've set it in this case to two and a half. Um, I thought three um, maybe made the whole image a little too, a little too blurry. And two was not quite enough. So we'll go with two and a half. Um, and then I went to filter, um, sharpen, unsharpen mask. Uh, and what this does is it allows us to kind of sharpen up the image again from the blurred image. Let's uh, turn these down quite low. I seem to be making a whole load of difference. Uh, but if we go before, after, you can see we've actually got rid of all those shiny bits. Um, now, I, oops, I didn't want to do a layer mask. I wanted to add a levels adjustment to it. You can see we've got um, on, on the uh, histogram, there's no real color information down at this end. So if I drag this little arrow across that way and drag this little arrow to do the highlights back this way, it just uh, sorts out a lot of the background. You see that there is still some of this grain in there, but if you compare to the starting point, it's got to be a uh, Maybe twice as good. <laughs> Thank you for watching.